Hey everybody, one of the Throwback Thursday Let's Play. Today I'm joined by Jay and we are heading deep into the desert, back into the year 1997, uh, to throw down a game that I've been meaning to get to for, well, almost nine, eight years? Eight years now? Um, on uh, GMG, which is Gorka Morka. Now, um, we are going to do, of course, a playthrough of the game. Uh, you can also watch my rulebook review, uh, Throwback Thursday GMG rulebook review, up today as well. And for patrons, we're also going to do a We Just Played on Gorka Morka, where Jay and I reminisce on, uh, well, basically what it was like being at Games Workshop when Gorka Morka came out from Jay, um, myself basically in the aftermath as still a customer playing Gorka Morka, and then the uh, the sort of like, I guess our impressions having replayed the game now 25 years later. <laughs> so we'll show the table, we'll show you the mission, and we'll get this underway. So here's D's Eyes, which is my, um, I, I we haven't even decided yet, are we Gorkers and Morkers? Who's Gorkers and who's Morkers? We uh, didn't fight it out over this. Wow, yeah, I was gonna say, I, I didn't do... Uh, are you are you cunningly brutal or brutally cunning? I'm, I'm well, judging by the look of Jesse's big chopper, I'm pretty brutal. <laughs> you're pretty brutal? All right, so yeah. you're cunningly brutal? All right, sweet. So I'm brutally cunning then, which makes me a I think that morker. means you're the morkers. I'm a morker. So uh, we got we got the morkers here hanging out in De Cyclops, which is my truck. Uh, and these are D's eyes, led by Nob Bachman and then uh, his spanner Turner with the big, uh, the big, the big wrench over there. Taking care of business. <laughs> They're gonna BTO you down. <laughs> and if you haven't noticed, we've already engaged at exactly at the emotional and intellectual level that you're supposed to engage with Gorkamore. Oh yeah. Um, I remember my buddy Christian and I used to talk about how if Gorka Morka had come out with contemporary orc model kits, it might have been the greatest Games Workshop game of all time. It was the bridge, right? Because if you remember, like when the knobs came out, those were the first Brian Nelson orcs. That's right, exactly. They were the first Brian Nelson 40k orcs. Because the the right. Red Lugs armored orcs were the first Brian yep. Nelson orcs. Um, and it and it really does show, because we've both made, or I, I've made a, a, a point of using one of the original Gorka Morka orcs as one of my youths. So hanging out next to uh, Nob Bachman over there, or Boss Bachman, is um, is one of the original Gorka Morka orcs with a couple uh, six shooters. Um, that guy's name is Speedy. He's gonna get his wings hopefully in the first game. Um, and yeah, so we, we're playing it with contemporary models, but with a lot of original accessories and bits and pieces, because I think that's a great way of approaching a game like Gorka Morka. We have access to all the original models, but we have so many more options not being limited to like those two model kits. Uh, and so these eyes uh, are riding around the truck. That's the Cyclops. It's got an Evy Shooter. Um, it's crewed by my other spanner, whose name is Chins, and uh, Pickle, who is his, uh, <laughs> who is his gunner. Um, then we've got Magogs, who is hanging out on the bike over there. Uh, that's the Prowler. Uh, and the Prowler is um, armed with a, uh, it's only a single shooter right now, but I'll probably upgrade to a twin shoot at some point. He doesn't have it operational and just a club. Um, and then we got um, uh, Knots, which is the guy in the back there, one of my boys. He's got a Slugger and a Chopper. Uh, and then we got Speedy, of course, as I already said, who's got his uh, six shooter. It's, it's going to be two six shooters, but I don't have the teeth yet to do that. And then, of course, Boss Bachman with a Slugger and Shooter hanging out up top there in his ride, the Cyclops. And here's Jay's starting warband. Uh, we've got your boss over there. It's what, the Dukes. The Dukes. Uh, so that is uh, Jesse Duke. Yep. Uh, he's got a uh, huge chopper uh, cannon, and he's got some heavy armor on. And his heavy armor is also made of saw blades, so he's, he's pretty <laughs> he's rad. He's just, he's, just, he's just made of saw blades. <laughs> That's right. He's gone to Raven Home and just found all the saw blades that were in Raven Home. Uh, we got his mech cooter. Uh, so he has got a slugger. And in the book, I believe what they're trying to imply is that knives and knuckles are two different weapons, but screw that, he's got knife knuckles. He's got knife knuckles, just put them together. <laughs> two great taste, taste great together. That's right. Uh, this is their truck, uh, the general, just the general. Just the general. Um, it could be any general. It could be any general. <laughs> That's right. um, and it is driven by Bo and gunned by Luke. And then over here, they got their two boys. Uh, so that is Vance with the uh, Slugga and the Chapa. And uh, sorry, Koi with the Slugger and the Choppa, and Vance with the Shooter. And I forgot to mention Bo and Luke. Uh, it's not on the figures yet, but they're, of course, armed with bows and frag stick bombs. Of course, why not? 
Um, so, so interestingly, we've gotten, we've gotten different. I like that your driver's on the right and mine's on the left. Like, we've literally done everything opposite <laughs> we possibly could. Uh, I hope you guys become the Duke of New York. Chandeliers. I gotta get some chandeliers. Yeah, get some chandeliers. You become the Duke of New York. <laughs> like, literally, the age demographic of my YouTube channel is based on the references that we make, and so everyone who gets that reference is gonna be on the top end. That's, yeah, I was gonna say, by, <laughs> by game three, it'll be nothing but uh, Isaac Hayes references. That's right, the Duke of New York's after you see you're running. <laughs> in the game, we've got our warbands. We spent 100 teeth. Now, we have had to have enough models or enough uh, vehicles that everyone can ride. So I don't know if yours fit, but we, we've all yep. put our orcs on 25 mil bases specifically so that you can fit on these trucks. Because if you can't fit on the trucks, you can't ride. Oh, see, I had to put I had to put uh, Boss Bachman on uh, the front there, the front row, so you'd hang on. I was a I was actually planning on making like a little uh, like a gondola thing <laughs> yeah. at the top, yeah. just to fit like one more orc in. Yeah, there's like side plates for these trucks. I didn't put any <laughs> of that stuff on because I was like, I gotta hang as many boys off this as possible. Because as soon as I start recruiting people, I gotta start building more vehicles. Yeah, what am I, the king of England? Side plates. <laughs> Old accessories. This is the old 90 or 45 degree turning template. So what you typically do is you put this next to a truck and then it goes across the middle. So you spin it to face the new direction that's going when you make a turn. So it's point on center. Oh, and then, and then spin over top. Yeah, there you, you go. It. Point on center. Okay. Because you spin from the middle. That's right. Hey, look at you and your geometry. <coughs> um, so I guess I do the same thing I'm with I'm educated. I'm an educated <laughs> orc. like that. You get the, the orc you know what's. Um, we've also got all of our tokens. And my only, my one complaint is that these desert tokens don't mask my desert thing. <laughs> They're super bright. You're not yellow enough. I'm not yellow. I mean, my desert isn't desert yellow enough. I got my Overwatch tokens, which we have a ton of. Um, I've got tons of our charge tokens. These are run tokens. And I can only find one of the hiding tokens from Diganob, but I'm sure we'll That's find more eventually. Way. That's right, That's we don't not our way. I, I didn't find all of my work for it, but luckily the new um, kill team came with like literally a Gorkamork, a play set of terrain. So you get an orc for it, you get barricades, you get scrap piles. Like if you want to play Gorkamork and you've got kill team, you're ready to rock and roll. I found a piece of it. This was the only, so it can be our mine head. This is all I found. Orc gonna, outhouse. Is, is, that's right, yeah. It's where the mine head is, for the mine head attack. I'm going to poop in there later. <laughs> but it's one Gorkamorka bulkhead and like a chunk of this. I think I've got part of the wind turbine too somewhere, uh, the strop head, but this is a perfect strop head because it's basically already mining like for gas. We're using a mix of modern and old accessories. We've got tons of scrap piles. We've got a fort. We got everything we need uh, to rock and roll and play some games. Roll a d6 and add them together. And that's the mission we're playing. We got a five. The other book. So in the other book, our first scenario is we was here first. Mobs like to race through the desert looking for scrap to sell to the mechs. Orcs always look upon any area of desert that they are currently in as their mob's territory. When two mobs see each other, they assume that the other one is invading and they attack. Uh, this uses the bottle net and scrap counters. There's going to be scrap counters on the table. Um, and bottling out means that once we take 25% casualties, we got to make leadership tests. Now, both of our knobs start leadership seven until we uh, play our first, sorry, we win our first game because no one respects us yet. We're just... We're just up and coming. Desert, the mobs meet in a standard area of desert. Both players set up training in a mutually agreed manner. And then we got D3 plus three scrap counters uh, in total placed anywhere on the board. So we both roll. I got a one. You got a three, so you can place the first one. And how many are there? There's gonna be six. All right, so we're in the desert and we found one, two, three, four, five, and one more, six pieces of scrap laying around next to big loot piles. Mobs, both players roll a D6. The player with the highest score can choose to deploy it on their table edge. We're within eight of a table edge after we deploy. I got a four. Three. I got three. All right, I'll choose this side, because I'm here. And then it's D6 to see who goes first. You cowardly grot, each knob can issue a challenge once in the scenario. At any point during the battle, one knob can shed abuse at the other. A knob can choose to accept or decline a challenge. If he declines, nothing happens, that the reputation is unreduced. If they accept, both knobs may only shoot and fight each other in combat. And once we fight in close combat, the challenge ends. Uh, ending the game, the game ends when a mob fails its bottle test or bottles out. In this scenario, models that move off the table don't count as casualties. If one mob only has models, there's casualties left on the table, then the game immediately ends. Um, or if one side bottles up and the other one's won, and the winner of the mob with the most scrap counters at the end of the battle is the winner. If both mobs have the same number of scrap counters, the battle's drawn, no knob gains the extra experience for winning. When one mob bottles out, they must test for dropping scrap. Uh, the other side automatically gets any scrap they leave on the table. If the game ends with one side leaving the battlefield, they keep any scrap they have, and the other mob gets any scrap left. After the game, any scrap can be traded for D6 teeth each. Experience will work out when we're all done. You can um, pick up scrap by moving into contact with them during the movement phase, uh, and then we have our move, but we can still shoot and fight as normal. Vehicles that end in contact without using their thrusters can spend an entire movement phase without moving to load them onto the vehicle. And if you get a gubbins hit on any of your vehicles, then the, um, the vehicle basically has it fall off, but it, it ignores the damage because the scrap like basically absorbs like the hit. I'm gonna start deploying. Uh, 
Uh, oh, geez. Now, remember, if I fall off, I fall off. So I had to be real careful moving these. Uh, within eight, I'm going to put my Truckosaurus right here. The Cyclops. For some scrapping. Uh, you know what? No, I'm going to move it. I'm sorry. Before you do that, I'm going to move him slightly. Because I just realized my bike could also pick up that scrap. I'm going to go over there instead. <laughs> and then the same thing. I'm just going to stay in contact with that piece of scrap to start off with. Turn one. D6 to see who goes first. I got a four. Oh, oh geez. Throwing things in the air. Three. three. All right. So turn one goes to me. I'm going to show the movement phase. Now, the movement phase is, as I suck about in the review, this is basically Necromunda. And the real star of the show here is going to be these movement rules. Um, but it's an I go. It's I go with everything, then you go. It's not alternating game turns. So we're going to It's old school, thing. son. It's old school. It's old 90s Necromunda. So I'm going to start with the Cyclops. It's going to make its first move, which is to move forward three inches. Then it's going to hover over and turn, so it's gonna go over the center and it's gonna turn up to 45 like that to face you and then use its last three inches of movement. Not going to use my thrusters, I'm just gonna start start there. I don't feel like spinning out on a one. Actually, sorry, the first one's free. Uh, I guess I could move again. Actually, first one is, first thrust is okay on a two plus. That's right, on a two plus. Uh, I'm not gonna buy the thrusting then. I'm just gonna stay right. And over here to Magog's, he's just gonna hang out uh, at the end of the movement phase. He's gonna load this scrap onto his bike. So he's now carrying the scrap. So then it's shooting phase. Uh, we're going to go into uh, my gunner, Pickle, and he's going to start shooting his Evy Shooter. We're all loaded up on a truck. The only thing I can do is shoot your truck. So it's got two sustained fire dice, and I got to roll to hit with all of these. I can just immediately run into ammo, though. So I get two, four shots. So it has a 20 to 40 inch range, and there's no modifiers basically for any of them. Nope. So we're just going to start blazing away with my ballistic skill of three. That's a three out of six chance of hitting, which means a four, five, or six will land a shot. Now, if there's multiple people on the ground, I could also spread them within targets within four, and you'd roll them all individually. But I just get one hit. The question is, what do I hit? So on a one, it's going to be one of the crew. On a two, it's going to be a fixed weapon. On a three, it's gubbins, which you don't have, so it goes back to the weapon. On a four, it's your wheels. On a five, it's the driver and on a t uh, six, it's the engines. I hit the wheels. Eight. Armor value eight. Now I'm strength five with an Evy shooter. So what happens? Uh, I equal it, which means I do a damage roll. It wasn't quite second edition 40K about um, Gorkamorka is that you had an armor value on your vehicles that was just like a, a standard armor value. And if you equal or beat it, then you would roll to see what happens. So what's a wheel hit on a... Oh, uh, roll D6. I roll D6, a wheel hit of four. Four is drivel pipe bent. The oh, no, no. The swerves. Swerve, I think you roll a uh, direction die. 45 degree turn in a random direction. So one to three left, four to six right. Now you don't have to move because you're not even moving yet. So you're not going to crash or anything. I'm going to crash. Uh, four, so that's right. <laughs> so turn to the right. 45. All right. So it means that now when you move your vehicle, you can move. Um, it's a three point turn instead, but it means you can only move three inches and you don't use your thrusters as your first move because he basically has to like back up now because he's he's spun around by being shot by a, a Bren gun. It was a damaging hit to um, Pickle, which means he gets to mark some experience for later on in the turn. Uh, there's no close combat because I didn't charge, so it is my turn one over, your turn one. And which was to just roll thrust rolls until I failed. <laughs> uh, I mean, you can still do that, it's just going to require a three-point turn at the beginning. Yeah, no, so we're going to start by disembarking. Uh, so we're going to... Now, you can do that after a normal move, but you wouldn't be able to do any other moves with the truck after that. So you need to do... I, and actually, I'm going to check if, a three, if you can even thrust after a three-point turn. Slow speed maneuver doesn't let you use your thrusters afterwards, and the only time you can move backwards is with a slow speed maneuver. So you get one-inch move, 45, one-inch move, 45, one-inch move, 45. Um, and you can still get on and off because it's considered to just be gas maneuvering. So you can back up one, this turn hell 45. someone else is making. <laughs> That's right. So, <laughs> so we're going to, oh, yeah, let me move that. Move the train to somewhere better. So there. Yep, and then a 45. Bring your gun to bear. There. Someone just, like, hit him, and he decided to, like, jerk forward. And then there, and then one more. Uh, you can turn again if you want, yep. No. And then move again, yeah. And All then right. you can turn again if you want. Now you can get off. And now we're going to have some boys jump off. Do it. Um... So first we're going to get uh, Vance. Get him, Vance. And he's going to move four because this is old school. It is. He's going to walk four. Pick up some pick up some stuff. And then Koi. He's going to... Oh, you fell. Oh, no! 
Oh, all right. It's like playing Jenga. Out of his move, I guess the vehicle. It, the vehicle didn't move thrusters, so actually he's fine. He just gets off. Yeah. Gone if he wants. Well, I guess that's true, right? <laughs> yeah, he can just walk back onto the moon face. <laughs> but then he spends his move doing it. Be like, ah, oh, man. Okay. <laughs> so he'll go there, and then we are done moving. And then in the shooting phase, yeah, so Vance will pick up uh, the scrap gunner. Movement phase, he just picked up the scrap gunner, yeah. And then uh, let's do some shooting. Do it. 12 inches, so they couldn't have actually shot anybody. As a shooter, so I think I'm out of range, but I'm going to... 18? Yeah. Almost. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then it's big shooter time for me into your Truckosaurus. Well, the one thing that's worth noting, and I'm not going to make you do this, but when you check range for a gun, you're just, you are fired it. Yeah. Which means you got to roll to see oh, if you make an ammo check, because there's ammo checks in this, yeah. No, no, let's do that. Okay. Let's do that. You're yeah, fine. He's fine. He's golden. Didn't care. He's golden. All right. So two dice worth of big shooter into your uh, crap wagon. So one, two. That's all I need. Uh-oh. I made a, I, I rolled a one to hit with him, actually, too, so I don't make an ammo check. He's fine. Four plus. Uh, so this is going to be four plus. Uh, so it's going to be one hit. Oof. In the... Uh, five, five, five is, is the driver. The driver, yep. That's gonna be uh, Rick is, or sorry, not Rick is. Um, so I got a roll of three to beat the armor. Yep. Yeah, we're good. Uh oh. And then the result is four, which is driver is hit by the weapon as normal, or takes a strength three hit if it's a ram or whatever. So it's, right. it's hit by the weapon. So hit by the weapon. So it's a three to wound because he's only toughness four. Yeah. No. Oh. Oh, he Who shrugs earns? it off, orc style. Who earns? Now, orcs never suffer pinning in this <laughs> because they don't care. Youths do when until they hard. finish their first game. When he gets a suntan, he stops being uh, he stops being afraid of being pinned. Grots, however, get pinned, and so do uh, diggers. Experience check mark because you did a damaging hit. No combat. We each got one scrap, so we're in a turn two. Declare none because nobody's in range. Let's do some movement. Uh, we're gonna go forward just a big six inches. Now I could turn. I will. I'll go three. And I'll turn my 45, because we can't drive 55. Doesn't have to be 45, but close. And I'll go three again. I want a boost. Because I want a boost. So it's two plus. So it's, uh, do I do two plus first? That's yeah, right. Your first yeah, first one is first two, plus. two plus. I'm fine. Whoa. And then it's three, four. Three, four, five. It gets, yeah. it gets progressively harder. So I move three again. And then I'm going to turn 45. Oops. Like meow, and be done. Can get off if I want. Initiative check to get off at this point uh, because I thrust. So let's see if um, my youth gets off. He rolls a six for initiative check. So on a four plus, he's placed on the side of the vehicle. On a four plus, he'll take a strength three hit. He doesn't. He can do anything else because he just fell off. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's him done, and then I'm gonna do my bike. Now my bike gets to make a free thrust if it. Um, so I'm gonna go three. I'm gonna turn 45 because this is how we do. Uh, so return to here. I'm gonna go three, and then my first thrust is actually free. There's no dice roll. So I'm just gonna go six inches again, straight forward. Whew. Plus I get to thrust. I do. I'm just gonna go six inches again. And then turn 45. Do I want to go one more time? Hell yeah, yeah I do. do. Go fast, baby! Yeah, we do on a three plus. So we're gonna go three again to here. We're gonna turn 45. Can you? Oh, never mind. Like that. And then we're gonna go three again. And then we're gonna turn 45. Fast! All right, that's it. We're done moving. Shoot some guns. Uh, we're gonna start with the boss and his shooter. He's within 18, so he's gonna shoot your uh, orc with scrap. I don't know his name. I don't know his name. Uh, I do have a sustained fire dice with my shooter. No. 12, so that's gonna be no plus one for me for range. So I'm just hitting on a three plus. I hit. Uh, strength three, so on a five, I do some damage. No, you're fine. You don't get pinned in this because you're an orc. I did not care. Um, now, I'm not in the front row, so I have to shoot sides with everybody else. They're also not within 12. So then it's just my heavy shoot, and you have to shoot the closest target in this game, by the way. Uh, I can, however, ignore um, things in cover for things in the open, but that means this poor guy with scraps going to eat my heavy shooter, too. I will spread the shots out within four inches of him. So I'm going to shoot two... Four times again, so I'm gonna do one, two, three, four shots. So against him uh, on a four plus, I miss. Uh, against the other boy on a four plus, I miss, and I have to make an ammo check. 
which I fail, so I'm out of ammo. And then two more shots into the truck, and I hit once. I hit five. That's gonna be the wheels. That's the driver. Driver, okay. Number value eight. So what happens to the driver? I don't penetrate. It's not penetrate. You're fine. Ammo. Sixes hit the cause ammo rolls. So I didn't actually have to make an ammo check there. Um, ones aren't the thing that trigger ammo rolls. It's sixes. I got it backwards. Um, so he still has ammo, but if I had failed the ammo check, I'd be out of bullets for the rest of the game. Nothing happened. It was just the noisy phase. Um, so I think we're over to here, and I'm going to try and shoot Mr. Man with gun. Uh, I'm having an 18-inch range with my shooter on my bike. That's me. Just in. Uh, I got cover against you, though, so I'm going to be hitting on a 5 plus instead of a 4 plus. Now that's an ammo check. On a 4+, plus, I will continue to be able to shoot this gun, and I can't, so my shoot is gone. Um, and then it's strength 3, so on a 5-6 I do some damage. No. Ammo to ammo with my shoot on my bike. Turn 2, back to you. Turn 3. Alright. Well, Coy knows what's about to happen, so he's going to get the hell out of the way. He walked 2, or run 4. Actually, he's going to go that way. He's going to run? Yep. I have these handy little footy run counters. Wee. And then he, uh, Vance is going to go too. Trachosaurus time. All right. Uh, so we're not going to do this sissy 3-3 three, three nonsense you've been doing. Okay. Let's go for it. Turns are for suckers. Mm -hmm. I almost made turn of the driver because he would turn better, and then I was like, no. 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 All right. And then we're going to thrust. Give him the thrust. Two plus. You do. Yeah, we're golden. We're golden. Uh, uh oh. I feel like I might get rammed. I put my ram on my truck in, in, in the thought that I was going to end up buying it. Do you want to turn to the end of that so you can ram me? Or are you going to uh, go sideswipe and try and jump on? I'm going to sideswipe and then try and jump on. Oh, here we go. That's the plan. So <laughs> All right. Second thrust, so this is three plus. No! Oh! He spins out. So we spin out. <laughs> that could not have <laughs> D6 forward, then spin out. So that was our spin out. And then you were kind of like aligned with me. Yep. So three inches. And then spin to face the other way. He's just dumping off the boss. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Excited about this. <laughs> just he's like, just pump the brakes a little. <laughs> time. Make an initiative check, otherwise you fall in between the two vehicles when you board. <laughs> uh, and you'll count as having charge if you make this. You pass? Oh yeah. All oh right. yeah. Alright, so you have now boarded the Rich vehicle. game time, it's pain time, <laughs> son! <laughs> and then well, you, but you fight one other guy. The warrior so, may so, jump from one vehicle to another if it was within two inches. Made the initiative test. Don't have to take the hit. Uh, sweet. So you're just in here with me now. Hello! That's, is that where you are? This is, this is what Jesse does. <laughs> this, is, this is chop time. Um, and then you can also shoot with your spanner if you want as well. Actually, my spanner is not going to shoot. He's going to, you know what, he's going to watch. He's going to watch around? Uh, he's happy where he is. I'm just going to watch it happen. I guess. He starts the VHS recording on his brain enhanced <laughs> v, like uh, Betamax recorder. Your bike? No! Are you a big shooter or your regular shooter? It's a regular shooter. Hit it's, on a uh, this is Gorkamorki. You can't walk around with a big shooter. That's true, you can't, yeah. It's too heavy. Uh, so I need a 4 plus. Oh. But it's not an ammo check. It's not an ammo Because we read the rules again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then I would like to choose violence. I mean, this feels like what you do. This feels like all that you do. Did you want to slug up my truck with your guy on the foot? Oh, no, he ran. Never mind. One attack with a, an Ooge Choppa, which means you lose draws when we fight, but you get plus one to your uh, attack pool because you charged. One die because all I have is a Choppa. And... That's a pretty good roll. So you pick the six and then add your um, plus one for charging and your plus one uh, combat score for... Oh, no, that's it. I think it's just plus one combat score and your weapon skill. So your six plus four is ten plus whatever the charge bonus is, which I think is plus one. Eleven total, which means you hit me twice with a Uj Choppa because my total's a nine. So my Uj Choppa is strength plus two. So this is going to be strength five. I guess Oof. plus four. All right, so three's the wound. So one. So one, and then the save modifier. I don't have any armor on. It says, oh, no one. <laughs> so, so you're just gonna make an injury roll? No, I make an injury roll. No, who makes the injury roll? I do or you do? I think I do. I think I have six, I'm out of action. On a two, three, I'm down. In which case, um, you can't actually kick my head in because I have friends within two, but I'm like knocked over. And on a one to two, I got a flush wound. Yay, I'm flush wounded. So I'm minus one weapon skill and ballistic skill. 
uh, but we're still in combat. Oh boy, well, this is gonna go well. There's a there's a man with a giant axe on board my vehicle. <laughs> so, take off. We don't want any part of this. The boss just wanted to hang out here, I think. My truck. All right, <laughs> turn three. Uh, well, uh, Boss Backman's still in combat, but he's been winged real good with a giant chainsaw axe. Start with the guy who's gonna get the work done, the youth. He's gonna walk over here and grab some scrap. No bullets, um, but I could just drive over you, which is yeah. what I think I'm gonna do. We're just gonna go six. We're gonna go six to here uh, and pivot. <laughs> Like the right decision. And then on a two plus, I'm just gonna drive what over you. What could possibly go wrong? I do. So I think I stop. I don't know if I hit both of you or not, but I probably do. Well, initiative test for Vance. He's initiative. Uh, oh, he's initiative two. I keep forgetting there are only two. Oh, yeah. One or two. In a game based on initiative, we have terrible initiative. Oh, you pass. So you just get to move out of the way. Sha -sha -sha. So that was my three inches. Then I'm gonna pivot and I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> Right. Actually, oh, I think I might just end in melee with you. Choice. I have to move my full distance. Oh don't right, because yeah, because I'm because I'm boosting. So initiative two for uh, Koi. Nope. nope. So he's gonna take a D three strength, uh, strength three. That's right, strength three damage, and then move D three in a random direction, left or right. So I don't wound you, and then you go one inch to the left or right. Uh, so we'll go low one to three. High. Yeah. Uh, so low. So one inch that way, and then I get to complete my move. Uh, and then I'm gonna thrust one more time because I don't get run over by this truck. <laughs> I don't. So I'm gonna go D6 forward, four forward, still good enough, and then spin out. Ah! Honk! Honk, 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 honk! And then I go, and I face myself. That's not too bad. Shit, all of the honk honking happening with my bike right now. I cannot wait to have another bike. Uh, all right, so then it's over to my truck, who's gonna try not to run anyone over. Um, he's gonna go forward three. Uh, then he is going to, I guess, we're gonna be riding next to each other for a minute because we're gonna pivot like this. And then go three more. I'm gonna attempt a boarding action with my boy to go no. stab that guy in a one or a two. I fail. Oh, you're going under the wheels. Oh, now, so we go in between. On a four plus, I take a strength three hit. I do. On a five, six, I'm wounded. I am. And then oh. I'm down. <laughs> ah! <laughs> All right, well, Turner, it's your turn. Witness me! <laughs> On a one or a two, we fail. We don't get hit, so he just falls off. Ah! <laughs> Whoopsie. Forced to continue fighting. I like that your car is basically the Cal Naughton Jr. Old Spice car now. From, it is. I'm going to be the magic man. It's going to poop out rabbits as I drive along. That's right. All right, well then, uh, I guess now I shoot my Evie Shooter into someone, naming him. Uh, how many shots do I do? I've got a jam followed by a jam. Fantastic. So... I'm not out of ammo, and I'm not out of ammo. I'm distracted by the two giant orcs fighting behind me. Let's do that. You're no longer charging, so it's just plus one against plus one, but I have a um, weapon skill of three now because you've you've hit me with one of your many saw blades. No! Oh my god, it just I gets worse. choose nine. Okay, uh, I, yeah, 10 actually, because you get plus one for my fumble. Oh, right. I, yeah. uh, I got a one. It goes to four. So you hit me six times with yeah. that thing. I figure like it's just stuck in me and you turn it on is what just happens. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're about this is, uh, this is this is uh, what was that one with um, the turkey zombies with the, with the turkey. I believe we're about to have an OSHA accident. <laughs> Get ready to fill out your accident reporting paper. On three. On threes. The best case scenario is, is I get I bleed to death because of uh, so four. Uh, so I, I'd have to make three, four injury rolls. Well, even if I wasn't down, I bleed to death because I'm flesh wounded in oblivion. That's not great. Can I now bark directions at these guys for where I <laughs> yeah, want them to drive me? That's right. This is my truck now. <laughs> I actually bottle it because I got a guy down and a guy out of action. I only have six, guys, seven guys I've gone terribly wrong immediately. <laughs> um, so yeah, your turn three. And now try and keep up with you though, which is cool. So I'm going to go there. And then I'm gonna go there. <laughs> okay. And I guess now I will do 45 degree turns. So going three. So we're gonna go three. Yep. And I'm gonna just grab the thing. I'm gonna what's it? And then I'm gonna go. 
three. I feel like I know what's happening here. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna end up tailing you, which means I may crush my own guy. So I'm gonna go, I'm not allowed to sideswipe you. I go three, and then I pivot. And then I go three like this, which means things might go horribly wrong in a second if I keep this that, up. That guy won't be there in a second. Okay. I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry too much about okay. it. Okay. Okay. So you're, right. you're gonna end up, I think, T-boning him? Yeah, okay, sweet. No. Let, me, let me clarify. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay. Roger, I want to turn him into a fine green mist. Okay. Roger, Dodger. All right. I guess I should just start murdering truck guys instead of jumping off to fight other people. That does feel right. Okay, uh, so let's do shooting. Uh, so first up, where'd the sustained fire dice go? Shooting, you have to charge someone on this truck right now. Pick, pick someone to charge. Oh, sorry, then I'm going to charge the driver, because I think you losing control would be funnier than killing the gunner. <laughs> Fair enough. You charge the gunner, and then... No. Shoot, or sorry, you charge the driver, the driver rather. Poor All right. All right, so first up, we're going to Evie shoot a, that guy. That tracks. So that is going to be two... Four, four shots. All right, on fours. No mods. It's Luke's time oh, wait. now. I might. There might be. A, I went really fast mod actually. Oh, fair enough. If you use your thrusters and if I use my thrusters. Okay. So, so yeah. I did not this time. But I did. So I'm minus one. And the other thing we forgot is it's plus one. We should need a large target, which the bike is not, but the, the truck. The truck is okay. So I so that's so the truck kind of offsets the thruster penalty yeah. anyway a little bit. I don't think it changes anything we did. Really. No, I think so. Really. Um. So basically, I'm net minus one. So instead of fours, it's going to be fives. Uh, so no. No, why would you want minus one? You didn't use your thrusters. You used your thrusters. I did use my thrusters, that's yeah. right. Okay, cool. Um, okay, so that's that. And then over here, we're going to slugger you in the back. That makes sense. Uh, so this is also going to be a five because you used your thrusters. Yeah, so it's going to be an ammo roll, but I also hit you. Okay. So my ammo roll for my slugger is a four plus. So I'm out of ammo. Uh, and then my, uh, oh, location, location cause you're yeah, a bike. I'm still a bike. Um, so that's five. Which five on my driver. bike. That's the driver. Yep. So it's so armor eight, armor eight. So I need a five. Did not get it. Ammo. So we'll... I also have to roll the recovery roll to see if that guy went out of action or not. <laughs> he might just be gone. He, nope. Still down. You shoot at me. I'm within 12 this time. You so are. it's going to be plus one minus one. So I'm going to need a four. Yeah. Cause he's my thrusters. That's right. Uh, Got him. So I will hit. Where's the land? Uh, location is going to be a the driver again. No, no. And, On a 5-6. Five, 5-6 uh, six. Five, six to... You got to equal my armor. No. Nope. Oh, not quite. Would like to murderize the driver <laughs> of your truck. <laughs> that feels right. So uh, I charged. You charged. So you get two dice and plus one to your weapon skill. So I am one dice and currently trying to drive. So, so that's, that's a 10. A 10. Uh, I get a five. So you hit me five times with okay. the giant chainsaw thing. Sweet. <laughs> uh, so this is five against four, so this, threes. This feels right. <laughs> That's very right. <laughs> uh, oh, wow. Yay! So only two. Two? All right. Two injury rolls. I'm down, so I'm just automatically out of action. <laughs> D6 inches immediately and swerve, which means a brand turn. So I move one inch, I, I plow into this guy, and then I end up swerving. So in this case, what happens is I have a chance to get out of the way. So Jay and I both put a die down. On a one or a two, uh, we've chosen to turn left. On a four to six, we've chosen to turn right. Um, and then, sorry, a, a three to four, we've chosen to go straight ahead. And a five, six, we choose to go right. And if we end up still facing each other, the ramp's completed. Otherwise, my driver has completed their their turn, basically, and is out of the way. So uh, so one to three left, uh, three to four middle, five to six right, and then we both reveal at the same time. Uh, and let's see what we chose. So you're going straight ahead. I chose to turn left. So because I chose to turn left 45, the ram isn't completed. And well, the, what would happen is you'd complete any remaining move, but the ram doesn't happen right now. So I go 45 like this. And because you only moved one inch, then you'd move like your rest of your quarter yep. inch. And be done. So that's that combat out of control right away. And I think it's turn four. I got to make a bottle check because my knob is dead and I've lost 25% of my guys. Seven, I'm good. good. So um, if we've taken over now with my my uh, my spanner. Gotta make and a roll for that because it goes out of control again. Yeah. Again. So when this thing decides to move, it's gonna go out of control automatically. So unless I'm gonna you, unless you try to unless I take over with my gunner. Yeah. So that's what's gonna happen. Pickle's gonna try and take it over. So first things first, I'm gonna move my bike the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> so where, he's where gonna go, going, buddy. He's gonna go six, and then he's gonna go six again, and then he's just gonna leave. 
<laughs> on a two plus. He does. Bye! <laughs> I'm gonna go four and start running with my youth, because they just watch what happened to the boss. Crawl two with this thing. Uh, <laughs> on a four plus, I can take over um, this truck with Pickle. I do, okay. You did it, you done did it, Pickle. Uh, let's get, let's get slammy. If we can't live, we can at least die. So now you can, uh, I'm gonna move, and I'm gonna pivot 45, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna move again and hit you. Yeah, so. Roll. Nope, not this time. All right, so you end up getting a hit with a strength three hit, which you take a wound, and then you roll one or two flush wound, three, four down, plastic jar action. Whoop. So Pickle just crushes that guy. Second hit. Uh, so now you get to actually move to stay on line with me if you want. And then we hit thrusters because we were we were sideswiping each other. So if you want, you can follow me. Just gonna stay where you are. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, then I'm gonna thrust on a two plus. I do. So I'm gonna move three. I'm gonna pivot and then I'm gonna hit you again. Come on, Vance. <laughs> you got this, son. Nope, not nope. so much. All right, five and six. I do some damage. No. So you get to go left. Uh, so it's D six inches. So six uh, inches or D three. Sorry, three. left or right. Left, so three inches to the side, or two inches to the side. Ooh. And then I move my other three. Ooh. And then it's, uh, do I keep going? No. <laughs> um, I'm gonna attempt to get- You can't a run from the guy <laughs> in the truck with you. It's true. So you didn't move fast last turn, so I'm gonna not. move three and charge into the vehicle with my spam. Oh, yeah. See who the greatest mech is, see if Turner can do it or not. Knuckles, so his name's Turna. Uh, his first name's Ike, by the way, so he knows he knows what's up. <laughs> so um, we are ready for some ultra violence and or shooting. I don't get to shoot my six shooter because I'm too far away. Uh, so we're just gonna go straight to violence. Uh, and that means I charge you with my spana. Mm -hmm. uh, I got extra weapon because I charged an extra dice. So three dice. I got two dice. And you got an extra weapon and a slugger, right? Yep. Okay. So I am uh, seven and I got a Oh, I guess we both. We both that cancels out. Yeah. So um, it ends up being I got a three, four because I charged nine to your seven. Mm -hmm. So I'm hit you twice with my club. Use your plus one strength. So I'm strength four. Nothing. Fight's over. All right. Well, you, you had your chance, bud. And that's my turn. So back to you. I'm gonna have to make bottle checks every round now. <laughs> a lot of scrap that's still on the table. If I bottle out. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if that counts, but I'm going to say it does. It super wasn't intentional. <laughs> uh, oh, but he's fine because I haven't thrusted anyway. That's right, and we're still in melee. Pivot! Pivot! <laughs> Three again. Stay! In the projection of the problem. You good? Yeah. So we're going to go. Pivoting again. <laughs> Everything's gone horribly wrong. <laughs> That's right. Uh-oh. <laughs> my youth's like, I'm glad I'm in a table edge. <laughs> Pressing again. Oh my god. No! Oh, so you go D6 and then D6. you pivot. Six? Six? Oh no, right to the edge. The table. It's close. Not quite. One, two, three, four, you're fine. Five, yeah, you're six. fine. Okay. And then, and then pivot. Backwards. Yay! No guns for me. <laughs> Man, Speedy's so excited. Speedy's happy. Oh, I forgot to roll to see if he goes out of action. He's flesh wounded. Yay! He's up. He's just injured. Technically, that's not actually my truck. That's true, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you if you hit a random crew member, remember, you could hit oh, yourself. I'm, okay, I'm just saying. Have I not been clear about choosing Now, I ones? thrust, so if you want to get on there with me, uh, it's going to be a one or you have to make an issue. Oh, check. no, no. Or he can go pick up the scrap. Yeah, I'll go get the scrap. That makes sense. <laughs> Let's... Uh, oh, and he'll charge into your new driver. <laughs> sure, that makes sense, yeah. <laughs> why didn't I equip anyone Get with off weapons? my truck! <laughs> That's right, yeah. I don't know why nobody has weapons in this game. Uh, so, sorry, uh, two Shoot me, scatter yeah. dice with the heavy shooter. So two, two three shots. Three, uh, and you did thrust. I sure I did. did. thrust. So this is going to be sixes. I'm big. Oh, this is right? going to be fives. So it's going to be right. fives, yeah. Oh. I will take two hits. All right, uh, where do they land? Uh, you're a truck, not a bike. I am a truck. Uh, so one is into the fixed weapon, okay, and the other one is into the driver, okay. Um, okay, so for the fixed weapon, I need a three, three. to go through. Yeah, have you shoot him? Yep. So it is six. Weapon explodes. 
Oh no! Strength four hit on the gunner, and the weapon may not be used for the rest of the uh, battle. There's no gunner right now because he's driving. Yep. So, <laughs> and then on the driver, uh, so again three plus to go through. Yep. Nope. All right, All right, so you've managed to get another vehicle damage on that guy, so he oh, gets right. to mark a point. Um, so yeah, I would like to uh, cave my head in, in right. back of the head. All right, go for it. Uh, so I got one dice. Oh, and I should get an experience points for how many guys does he take? Out? Two. Two. My Two. knob and also um, okay. another guy. So what do you get? So oh, I got an eight. Four, uh, five. Nine. I got nine. Oh, hit me once. Three plus. Hang in there. Come on. You can do it, Pickle. Stab with your pointy hat. Yeah. You wound me. And it's my... Oh, you don't have Done. armor on. I am super dead. The kill for so, you. So everyone's off my truck. And that vehicle immediately goes out of control again. And goes four inches. So move it four inches forward. And then it ends up facing... Oh, and it swerves. So it goes left or right. It goes... Five, six is right. So it's pointed towards the tape latch. That truck belongs to you now, I guess. <laughs> we have no vehicles except for one bike. And it's time to go. Okay, so first things first. So it's up to you. Yeah, don't forget. You can voluntarily. <laughs> I'm aware. Oh, okay. we have to do one more combat still. I might get my own truck back. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> Let's fight. I get two dice because I oh, both I have extra weapons. That's right. So, oh, God. I'm, Why? I'm going to do nine. Uh, you're going to do more than nine. You're going to do 11 because those are both, oh, both right. fumbles. So I'm going to be 11. Against your uh, four, four, so seven hits. Sure are. And just roll some dice. <laughs> I got my knife knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> just use your strength. Uh, so fives. Yeah. So one, one two, two, two. Out of action. Eight. Well, I need to not ball because I need to walk off with this scrap. All right. <sighs> Leadership seven. Yeah, <laughs> Speedy got your wings. Why? <laughs> <laughs> and then he's also going to go. Ah! <laughs> and run. Thing moves out of control. Does it go off the table? Uh, I don't know. Five inches? You tell me. One of those times where it was it was better that we didn't. So All but one. Up to there. Not quite. Okay. So we're on a highway to hell, son. <laughs> your, your turn. This is turn five. Your turn five. <laughs> uh, right. There's one orc remaining, and my unmanned truck <laughs> currently driving to freedom. That out. Yeah, that way I can just drive away later. <laughs> huh, there's no guys left here to get. You can keep walking too if you want. Yeah, so he's. You know, it, it just moves, so you're just walking off of it, yeah. It uh, only used gas. So he'll. Uh, you get all the unsecured stra scrap when I leave. Oh, I'm going to. So you just. Leave, yeah, right? I'm just going to leave. So I'll, just, I'll just walk around. Okay. Just he can go too. He only goes too because he's carrying something. There, because he doesn't care anymore. That's right. He's like, this is, this is our town. Uh, always spite. Yeah. Always spite. Always, always, always choose. Spite. Well, don't forget this thing he's to move to. Oh, right, right, right. Um, after, you, after you repelled all the borders over and over again. So, remember when we said cunningly brutal or brutally cunning? <laughs> You've clearly mastered cunningly brutal in your first game. Yay. Making uh, the guns? Two plus for thrust. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, he's good. He didn't, so, run, uh, didn't accidentally run over your own guy. Oh, he he's going three. He might. Oh, pivot, not quite. pivot, pivot. It worked out okay. Pivot. How'd he run over him? And then he I was three. fine with that. <laughs> he knew what was up. And then he, he knew what again. he signed up for. He's just coming around the mountain. <laughs> You're almost in 90. One more. Three plus. No, yeah, my God. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so brutal. <laughs> I just feel like the Jaws music is playing right now. One more turn. You can try again if you want, if you want to face me. Okay, that's fair. All right, uh, so we're going to start off with some big shooting. <laughs> Four sustained fire dice. This guy's earning so much experience this it's game. It's only two sustained fire dice. Oh, that's right, sorry. Uh, so three. Ooh. Five. Five? That's sure, that's lots. That feels like, feels like plenty. Get him. It feels adequate. <laughs> uh, four, five. Okay. Uh, so I'm you thrust. Oh yeah. And I'm not big, so you're gonna so have fives. fives. <laughs> it's a lot of ammo checks. <laughs> I think you're using your remaining bullets. Uh, Threes. Well, I'm pretty sure after this, I can go get the bullets out of you and put them and back put them in back the in the gun. Right that is how that works. is how orc bullets work. Yeah. I am the Legolas of orcs. Okay. Uh, so this is three Threes. Storms. Tremendous. Uh, so three. So three injury rolls. So even if I roll three flush wins here, I'm dead. I didn't have to make a bottle roll. Oh man. Well, no bottle check and no turn uh, six for me. You will get all the unsecured scrap. 
Uh, and I'm the one in a classic tradition making all the bottle rolls this game. My truck comes back later. It's It has no driver, it just comes back on its own like a machine spirit. Like a horse come back to the farm, it just shows up. And now Speedy and Gogs are in charge, apparently. Where's, where's your rider, boy? <laughs> you need these two scrap. Now you won, uh, for obvious reasons, but also because you got the most scrap. So everybody who survives gets D6 experience, plus five for wounding hit, plus five for penetrating hit. Uh, no one declined a challenge, plus one for carrying scrap, which is cool, and then plus 10 experience for the winning knob. That, I gotta see who's alive and who's dead. Most battle sequence, first the blocks, the black one's low. 34 to 35. Old battle wound, he's a little bit gippy. Live, but he might just start missing games because he's a little, little gippy. Uh, what happened to my mech? He's just dead. Or uh, knots, he's got a 42, which is four recovery. Shins, 35, he's also got an old battle wound. And for pickle, 64, that's gonna be impressive scars. He's plus one leadership. His pickle's gonna try and take over the warband because he's got a higher leadership than my knob now. He's dead and also out of the band. So the new turn is gonna show up and be named Overdrive. All right, so um, experience earned, you I can do yours first. Serious injury for- Oh, that's right, yeah, you do. Uh, for cool. Which dice is high, black, red? Uh, red will be tens. Okay. Uh, so that is 63. 63. He's got- Captured. Captured, fantastic. He belongs to me now. <laughs> Impaled on the front of the motorcycle as it drove away. That was the plan. Until I recruit another spanner, I can't actually bring my truck back to, to, to work. Experience points. Now you can do your capture guy too, because he, he doesn't actually not get experience. He just doesn't, uh, he's he's hanging out at the fort right now. For Jesse? So Jesse gets D6, so he starts at 61 because he's a knob. So, he, so he's going to get 10 for winning. How many kills did he make? Three? Three. So, uh, so that's going to be 15, so 25 plus D6. So 91 total. 91 experience. Who's next? Uh, Cooter. So that's my spanner. So he starts at 61 as well. So he will be at 62. Because he didn't get any, no, he got a kill. He knocked me out. Oh, He'll be at 60, 67. 67, I forgot about that. Uh, he's a boy, he's my driver. He starts at 21. So 21 plus two, 23. 23. Uh, your driver, did he kill anybody? No. No, and then Luke killed three guys. So he got 15 for that. Plus 21 is 36, plus five is 41. 41. It's probably a level. And then Koi uh, accomplished nothing. Got captured. So he's going to be 24. And Vance accomplished nothing. Shouldn't have dropped that scrap marker. <laughs> uh, he's going to be 26. Okay. Blackman's alive, but he's very screwed up. He gets D6 for really surviving. Living? Not really. He gets one and goes to 62. Shins did survive. Uh, he was my spanner that was driving the vehicle. And he didn't, he did run somebody over actually, so he got a kill, because he had the kills for that, because that's, that's how I killed somebody. So he's got four plus five uh, is nine, that puts him at 70. He's dead, so don't worry about him. Uh, Pickle got two kills with his uh, gun, and also survived, so he gets a total of 19. Magog's got a scrap, which is sweet. The one, because it's loaded onto his bike, so yes, he doesn't get that leadership. But he did kill somebody. I didn't, I didn't run anybody over with him. He just lived for D6. Three. Just got murdered, but he gets four more, so he goes to 25. And then Speedy was carrying scrap for one. Plus one is two. Speedy got out into the Angelus sun and got a sweet tan. All right, well, uh, that's I, your captured guy. I'm going to have to ransom back to you, but we'll do that after income because I do not have a slaver, which means I cannot put you to work in the mine. You can get to, if you get to 31, you get a level with a boy. If you get to six, you get a level with a youth. And if you get to 81, your knobs and spanners will get a new one. So one of my boys got to 41. That was my gunner on my truck. Sweet, I got to 40 with pickle, so he's going to level up too. And my knob got to 91. Holy moly. Because he's a murder factory. He is, He. I mean, he's made from, from saw blades, so obviously... Obviously that worked. He never fired his cannon once either. No. He just went, he just wanted an absolute it's, killing it's spree. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, so uh, rolling to see your advance for your boss. So I'm gonna do, uh, just cause I'm on the page, I'm gonna do my uh, boy first. Okay. So this is Luke, I'm rolling on the deck of skills. He got a five, which is rapid fire. If he doesn't move, he can fire twice in the shooting phase. Skill can't be used in combination with other fire or big guns, but it can be used by warriors. Don't you roll 2d6 first to see in the advanced table what you got? You have to roll in the advanced table to see what you got. Oh, you don't I'm sorry. Yeah, so just I roll another d6. Skills. Roll yeah. more d6 to see what happens. So what did I roll? Five, Five. plus three. So eight. So eight is harder. So you get plus one weapon skill or ballistic skill? Oh, come on, ballistic skill. One to three. 
No, he's losing his weapon skill. Skill great, sorry. So he is better at shooting people, which he was already pretty, pretty good, good at. I thought. Yeah, now he's supposed to go for I felt good about where he was. Uh, and then for my knob. 2d6. 2d6. So this is a six, which is ardor. Uh, so also weapon skill or ballistic. Now you want the one to three. Now we want weapon skill, <laughs> yep. Oh! And we got it. Everybody does what they say It'll on the team. weapon skill five. five. And my one boy who leveled up, which was Pickle. He's my gunner as well. He gets a five, which is ardor, strength, or attacks. I mean, he did just get chainsawed. He gets an extra attack on his profile. Slightly pointlessly better at fighting in melee, but that makes sense based on the fact that he just had to defend his uh, truck from Chainsaw Man. All right, so we're back at the fort. We gotta collect some income, pay for our uh, our extras, and that's it. So um, first things first, we gotta collect our teeth. Every orc boy gives you d6. Every scrap counter gives you d6. Um, every youth and grot gives you d3, unless you have a slaver. So I'm gonna have one, because the, the, the mechs and the other guys don't work. So I'm gonna have one, two, three, four, five d6, plus a d3. The D3 is going out you because he's he's lazy. He doesn't work very well. He's basically he's young Groot. He's teenage Groot that doesn't doesn't want to do anything. So let's see how much income I get. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight plus six is fourteen. I have one, two, three, four, five, six models in my warband, um, and my income is fourteen. I got to pay ten. Or I get 10 based on my income level to um, to spend. D3, they're not D3, you're right, yeah, yeah, plus sorry. Three, plus so three. that's 21. 21. Yeah, I got an income of 21, so I get 11 scrap. Four boys and four scrap counters, which gives you 4D6, or 8D6. Eight eight D6. <laughs> so it's gonna be, oof, not so good. Uh, 11 plus uh, 13, 15, 19, 22. And you have six guys. And I have six guys. Well, remember, this guy can't work. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so let's do seven dice. So seven dice. Sorry. That's okay. So that's four, 10, 10 15, plus nine. 21, uh, 24. 24. Pretty much the same outcome. And then you had six guys, which is going to give you 13 scrap. In 13 teeth. teeth when it's all over. That's right. All right, so now we got to pay the ransom. Got to pay the troll toll if you want to get this guy back. Uh, I'll give them to you for the low, low price of five teeth. One of our lads is missing instead. <laughs> All right. Fort at some point. So that, that means I will actually. Oh, we got a fort. So I got D three um, extra for him working in mines. Then I got extra four, uh, which pushes my income total to. So he just stays. He actually doesn't have any extra money. Um, uh, so I have eleven. I got to immediately recruit a new spanner, which is going to cost me nine of that. <laughs> And I'll spend the last two to twin link his shooter. What was your operating from last time? Uh, I mine's thirty. Mine's good. thirty-five. It would the same because I had a youth and you didn't, but it doesn't really change anything. Now I can't get any custom jobs done until I win a game, and also my leadership remains at seven. So what that means is we're going to end up in a pit fight. Um, what happens is Chins, the driver, who went to leadership eight, is immediately going to uh, challenge my boss for leadership. <laughs> It's pit fight. If the monster gets too big for his britches, then it happens. If it's possible that two more warriors in the same position to challenge the knob, then we have to randomly determine who goes first. If the challenger beats the knob, they become the new leader, uh, and vice versa. If the encounter leader wins, he must fight the other contender in a pit fight. Um, and that's it. So the mechs impose some restrictions on the pit fight so that they'll last uh, long enough to entertain the people of Gorkamarka. Roll a d6 to see what kind of pit fight we're going to get into. So Chins is going to fight me. In a hard one, the combatants must fight in hand-to-hand -hand combat without any of their hand-to-hand -hand weapons apart from knives and knuckles. They may still use armor and bionics. Neither warrior counts as charging in the first round. I just immediately get into combat with my driver. So one of my spanners. Uh, the warrior still on their feet, takes over, or continues the model's leadership. The warriors will gain experience as detailed below. Uh, and from that point on, the winner counts as the knob of the mob. Any previous restrictions are lost. The warrior can choose weapons available to a knob, pick their knob wants, and et cetera, et cetera. Um, if a new knob is taken over, the following death of the previous knob, they'll start, they will gain plus one leadership after their first victory, like a starting mob leader. Uh, the loser bears no ill will, it's just part of work society. Uh, roll for serious injuries to the loser if you want out of action. If you just went down, uh, roll for it on a roll one to three. So either this counts charging, so you can roll for Pickle. So is Pickle got a pistol and a we, weapon? We just have Nux, because we, we're doing Ard, so all well, we get right. to fight with is Nux here, because the, the mechs are- So you're just plus Nux. one then, because you're a higher weapon skill. Uh, I am, I'm weapon skill yeah. four. Sweet, all right. So you managed to hit my knob with your knocks. Three times. Uh, so you got a total of nine uh, to my seven, so two times. Two times, okay. So five's to wound. 
Nothing. All right, back at you again. So we do another round of combat. Uh, so I got a six to your seven. So you hit me once on a five plus. He's just letting you take punches right now. No. No, he's just letting you. He's just letting you. I'm doing Rocky three. Ivan Drago can hit me as much as he wants. There we That's go. You. Now I put you down. So I'm strength uh, three as well. That's a total of nine. No, eight to your four. four. So I'm gonna hit you four times on fives. Nothing. All right, another round of combat. Uh, I beat you down again with an eight to a four. So four more times. No, oh my God, nothing. All right, so we go again. We're our fifth round of combat right now. I hit you twice on fives. I am the worst knob in history. Nothing. Oh my God. You deserve to lose. Oh, you hit me. So that's seven. So seven to my fives. You hit me twice on fives. Oh my God, does Chins do it? Nope. nope. Another one? This is a round eight? Uh, that's a nine to a eight, so one more hit on a five. I cannot believe this is still going. Round nine. Uh, we tie, uh, so it goes to initiative, and I have a higher initiative. All right. So I hit you once. Finally! All right, roll an injury roll. Go down or get a flesh wound. God, I want to die. I I want to die. <laughs> don't die. Don't die. Just get a flesh wound. You're yeah. flesh wounded, so we keep fighting. <laughs> so now your weapon's go two. So that's a three. You really want this? <laughs> I think I'm on, a, I'm on a seven, so I hit you four times. Stay down, chins. I hit you again. Make another injury roll. Another flash wound. You have to go one. <laughs> Chins really wants this. He wants this so, so bad. Uh, I, I, I'm done with this. I got a 10. <laughs> so four more. Stay down, Chins. Make another injury roll. Actually, it doesn't matter what happens here. You go to action. Yep. You just go to action. <laughs> oh my God, that was the... That was the that was the alley fight from They Live. Yeah. <laughs> you just went oh, full. Oh, you have the suplex. <laughs> you just went full, full. Um, Don't make me David Keith. David you. Keith, yeah, or Keith David. Sorry, Keith David, whichever Keith one. David. And I went, uh, I went full uh, Roddy Pike. That was like twelve rounds of combat to go out of action. Oh my god! And then you got to roll. For and then I got to roll an injury roll. So what happens to chins? Uh, 54 is fine. Four cover. The experience for taking out of action, though. Where he takes part in a pit fight, uh, gets five experience for each wound they inflict, just as if they were in battle. Awesome. Yeah, because I, I injured all you three times. I get plus 15 experience. Beat him back into his place, but I'll have to fight him every game until I win one, uh, because my leadership hasn't gone back up, and he is still higher leadership than me, because Chins is just embarrassed about our first game. The pit fight, I go and spend my teeth to recruit another Spanner. Uh, this is going to be, his name's not Turner. Uh, it's going to be, I guess, Overdrive. <laughs> O o o overdrive, <laughs> the overdriver. And you also get to go visit the mechs. You've got 13 teeth, uh, and you've won a game, which means the mechs will now deal with you. So you could also stick gubbins on your uh, on your vehicle if you like. There's a bunch of extra things you could do. you got more than six teeth, the gubbins upgrades are basically, uh, you're not gonna get extra charged, because sometimes the mechs get a little, little out, uh, you know, overzealous, and they charge you extra for no work. Teeth. Because uh, I definitely need to be able to buy another vehicle, and because uh, you physically can't put anybody else on the yeah. table until you do. So as excited yeah. as I am about buying upgrades and buying another boy, like it's it's a getting setting a buggy, myself up for failure. Yeah, getting a buggy or a track makes more sense. So there's our first game done. Man, what a rough one for these eyes. Uh, they almost got, they almost lost their leader in the first game. Then one of, the, then Chins just decided he was going to take over. It's been an epic story, uh, one day in the making. So, <laughs> because we've captured one of your guys, who did we capture? Uh, you captured Koi. Koi, sweet. Well, because we captured Koi, the next mission's going to be one of our lads is missing. We'll see you for that one in two weeks. So there we go with the first mission down. Oh man, Bachman. Ba Boss Bachman didn't. <laughs> He didn't have the best day. Um, a man with a giant yellow chainsaw came into his house and killed all of his friends and made his truck drive off by itself. But I just point out one thing. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> it feels like all the things that should happen in a Gorka Morgan game, we just got them out of the way in the first episode, um, including capturing somebody. So we're going to be playing our next mission, uh, and it's going to be basically the rescue of one of um, the, the the rival boys. Who's one now, of the Duke boys. He's the Duke's boys, yeah. So Boss Hog's got him. We gotta I, go to the Boar's Nest. Why am I not Boss Hog? Yeah, I don't even know. I don't know why I'm not Boss Hog. Um, but we are going to be living in the Boar's Nest. That makes sense. Our name of our fort, the Boar's Nest. Uh, and yeah, and that mission basically is gonna evolve narratively. So this is, I think, kind of what the best parts of Gorka Morka are, how you can get an emergent storyline, the vehicle rules really were the star of the show, and like if you get like 
as we have more vehicles, they'll become more compelling because vehicles can get jacked up very quickly and things can go wrong very fast. You can get, you can have someone accidentally board drunk. It's a really good game, but it doesn't give up any of its silliness to be that. And I think that's the, that's the kind of compelling part of it. So we'll be back again. Um, you can check out our thoughts on this game in We Just Played, which will be in Patreon. You can follow the link in the uh, comments down or in the video description to go check it out. And of course, you can watch the GMG review, which is linked up here in the cards of the rule books themselves, where we talk a bit more about the rules. So thanks for watching. We'll see you for more Let's Plays in the future. It's on a mash. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed that video. There are tons of other games all recorded for you to watch. Click over to my channel page if you haven't already, and have a look to the dozens of playlists full of videos. I guarantee you'll discover a game you haven't seen played before. I put out new videos seven days a week, and every day is themed to a different genre as I continue to explore the wider world of gaming. Of course, none of that's possible without you, the viewer, so click a like and subscribe if you'd like to stay on top of what's happening here daily. My two kids and I are massively grateful to be able to have the flexibility of this job so I can always maximize my time with them. If you want to support me continue to put out this content, it's only possible because of my amazing backers on Patreon who support the studio, equipment, and model cost, as well as being how I make the bulk of my living. You can also help out by buying a t-shirt through Spreadshirt, a measuring gauge or widget from Desperate Designs, or buying one of my games and supplements, like Last Days, Game of Wolves, and Blaster. As a way of showing my appreciation, patrons get early access to new games and supplements that I write throughout the course of the year. Huge thanks for watching, it really does help out, and happy gaming.